So we have this evidence of this trade war being played out in the currency markets, evident in the Chinese currency at 11-month lows. Uh, but somehow the PBOC governor has come out to say it is vowed to keep the UN at reasonable and balanced level. Does this somehow take away fears of a currency war? A little bit, I think. It's perhaps about time we did hear such comments from the Chinese officials and certainly uh, overall uh, the, throughout all the, the trade, this trade battle that really kicked off in March with the steel and aluminium tariffs from uh, the Trump administration, we had been expecting that the Chinese currency would not be um, a preferred weapon of uh, China in retaliation um, to uh, the US actions on tariffs, um, particularly because they've just spent so much time in uh, the, the past 18 months or so uh, restoring confidence in the, their currency. So very much seem to be uh, placing a priority on making sure that domestic investors um, didn't feel the incentive to ship money offshore and uh, that they were happy to keep, keep money at home. So that was certainly seemed to be the priority from early 2017 up until about the middle of June uh, this year. And, uh, but since then, it's been very notable that there has been um, that wave of weakness in the currency which has exceeded that of its uh, regional neighbours. And that's what really caught our eye. Now, is there anything on the horizon that you see that would prompt the PBOC to change its stance? Look, I think the longer this rolls on, the, the, the deep, deeper the, the tensions. I mean, certainly you, you highlight the, that um, the $34 billion worth of uh, tariffs on uh, taking effect on Friday, but there's a lot more threatened. So, I mean, essentially President Trump has uh, threatened uh, at least like about 90% of Chinese goods imports to the, mm -hmm. the US with tariffs if he's not satisfied with China's response. And, and at this point, it doesn't look as though there's anything very specific that would uh, satisfy him and uh, it appears not to be losing him any votes domestically um, with his base so uh, it's not not clear to me at all that he will back down on on this so so i think that that weapon will be there from china i don't think it'll be their first uh, op option still i think they will be focused more on on tariffs and other measures um, in retaliation but the the currency is, is always uh, something that they can add to the mix still watching perfect Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.